Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the QT interval, which is found on the ECG. So let's get started. The QT interval starts at the beginning of the QRS complex and ends after the T wave. And this demonstrates the time it takes for electrical signals to cause the ventricles to contract and then rest. With this, you're looking at the measurement. Typically, it's anywhere between 0.35 to 0.44 seconds, and men have shorter intervals than women, and it really varies depending on if it's a fast heart rate or a slow heart rate. Fast heart rates have shortened QT intervals, and a prolonged one could increase the risk of ventricular dysrhythmias, like torsades de plant. Then you want to take a look at the QT interval, and again, that was found at the beginning of the QRS complex to the end of the T wave. And you just want to count the boxes from there to there. Here we have about nine boxes, so that gives us 0.36 seconds. And just track that down all throughout the strip and just confirm you have that throughout. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos on ECG interpretation, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.